All right, JDs and Lelman, welcome back. Uh, we have a quick one today, and before I jump into it, I just want to let you guys know um, we have I've had some delays with getting videos out. Uh, my editor, I've just given her some time off for personal reasons that I'm not going to get into on here. Um, however, I am going to be editing videos myself, uh, and I'm going to do my best to get some more content out. Uh, but this is going to be a short video just to, you know, keep the YouTube algorithm happy and provide some value to you guys. And then I've got some more live bug bounty coming out. Um, and I found blind SQLI, XSS, uh, also server side template injection. In one case, I'm not sure if I'll get disclosure for it or not, but if I do, you'll get a video. And I'm also. Uh, doing a very exciting video, potentially collaborating with another um, big, well, semi-big, uh, big by my standards, cybersecurity creator. And when that happens, I will let you know. Uh, we're going to be doing some out of bound, uh, out of band, excuse me, XSS stuff. Uh, and a new custom tool I made is going to be releasing. So I'm going to be going over that and I'll get that out as soon as I can. But... For today, we are going to be going over how we deal with situations like this, right? Where we have a, let's say, a field here that's disabled, right? I can't, I can't type in here, um, or a read-only field on a bug bounty website, right? And if you could put input into it, maybe you'd get XSS or something like that. Uh, maybe there's a button you're not seeing. Uh, maybe there's some grayed-out content or whatever. I'm going to be showing you kind of a methodology to bypass these client side blocks right and then i'm going to be showing you how you can automatically do it um also shout out to lost sack or coffin xp uh, however you know him for this lab page that i have just stolen from him uh so let's say we have an email input here um and the first thing you're going to want to do obviously if it's a client side block is you're going to want to look and inspect element uh, and again I'm going to get into how to do this with an automated tool in a second uh, but as you can see right we have this disabled value here and so the first thing we're going to try and do obviously is just change it to false we can see nothing all right um, the next best thing is just delete it right just get rid of it okay and we can see boom all right we now have a working email field we can submit stuff now let's move on to the read-only input here, right? So we select it and we can see again, a similar scenario. Um, we can just erase this read-only thing and we are able to successfully add input into it, right? Uh, now let's have a look at this hidden button. All right, and we can see that class is set to hidden. We can just again, delete that entirely and we can see boom all right we have the secret admin button uh, now lastly for the grayed out section um, you know, we can see that the class is grayed and we can just obviously delete this if I can actually click on it and then we can go ahead uh, just completely remove that and we can see that it is no longer grayed out. All right, but let me show you how to do this a more fun way, an automated way. Um, I have this bookmark here, which I've modified from a lost sex tool. It is just this JavaScript code here. Uh, this is gonna be in the description of this video. Actually, you know, it's gonna be the pinned comment on this video. And if we open up this tool, um, we can see that we have a couple of options. We can remove overlays and we can unhide content. So we can see, just to show you, this is a, we're just gonna refresh this tab. Uh, actually, you know what? We're just gonna go back. We're gonna go back into it. Yeah, so the lab is reset. Everything's blocked off. We can open this up uh, and one option is remove overlays. So if you've got a pop-up or something like, you know, a basic paywall blocking you, let's say, obviously don't do this on a paywall um, because that is a crime and that's just, you know, it's a terrible idea, really. You shouldn't use this for that, right? That's just, pff, why, why would I say that? Um, 
Anyways, you can unhide elements as well. So if you're being blocked by like a pop-up here, this is just going to remove anything overlaying the page and blocking. Like let's say there's something that stops you scrolling, right? Like a CSS um, that's actually going to cover the page and prevent you scrolling or clicking. This is going to get rid of that. But we can unhide elements using this button and we can see that it has successfully, um, it just does it for you, right? And this will work on a lot of cases. So we've got this, um, you know, we can now successfully use these. We've got the secret admin button, grayed out content is gone. This is also going to work for a bunch of other things. Like we're talking, you know, any any hidden buttons anywhere. Like if we just go to a random, um, random site, has vulnerability disclosure program. I'm not gonna show anything here, but uh, we can basically execute this and unhide elements. And then you can just kind of have a poke around and see what shows up. Like we can see these uh, hashtags that I don't believe were there before. And you will just kind of get strange things coming up. Obviously, this is generally something you'd more so do on like a login page, right? Um, and we can just unhide elements. And you might see some weird stuff pop up, you know, if there's a specific, it doesn't look like anything here, but if there's a specific form that you can't enter values in or whatever, and you want to use it for bug bounty, uh, you can use this to just kind of, you know, allow you to test these things that have client side blocks that aren't very effective. And you can maybe find some interesting things. Uh, like I found a uh, server side template injection via a form that they'd basically just hidden on the page. Um, because some of the other elements on the site were using that form, but they didn't want users interacting with it. So they just made it invisible, um, which obviously isn't going to work here. So I'll put that tool in the description. Uh, obviously massive shout out to lost sec for this original lab and the base framework of that tool that I use. Uh, again, it's just some basic JavaScript, right? You could probably even vibe code something like this, but I don't recommend it. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be in the description and I'm going to get some better content out for you guys as soon as I possibly can. There is some insanely cool stuff coming, uh, especially with the out of band XSS. I'm just going to give you guys a quick uh, overview of the tool so far. So you've got, you know, your payloads and you can execute these and get callbacks. So instead of using, you know, paying like what, $400 for Burp Collaborator, you can just send it back there 100% for free. And I've built a lab for this. I'm gonna try and get it on Try Hack Me. There's some awesome stuff coming. Um, but obviously uploads are gonna be a little slower, like maybe two to three per week, uh, just due to, you know, the things my editor is dealing with. Again, I'm not gonna get into it, but I've just given us some time off. So really appreciate the understanding. Uh, have an amazing rest of your day and peace.